Hey everyone, here is our math problem for today. Let's say we are given this equation x raised to x equals 2. Find the value of x. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this exponential equation. Now let's solve this problem together. In the previous video, we already talked about the Lambert W function. And this is again another situation where we can apply this Lambert W function. When the base and the exponent are the same variables, that is the situation when the Lambert W function can be applied. So the only missing quantity here in order to apply this Lambert W function is the natural number E. So let's do some algebraic manipulation so that we can transform this left side of the equation into the form x times E raised to x. So first, let's take the natural logarithm of both sides. So we have ln of the left side equals ln of the right side. Then we apply the property of the logarithm that says when you have an exponent here, that can be appended to the front as one of the factors. So we have x times ln x equals the right side ln of 2. Next, let's note that e raised to ln of x is just x because e and ln are inverse operations that can cancel each other out, thereby leaving only x as the value of the right side. Because of this, we can now replace this x by the right side here to arrive at e raised to ln of x times ln x equals the right side ln of 2. Now since the form we want is certain factor times e raised to another variable, we want this ln x to be written at the front. So let's apply the commutative property of multiplication. That means we can interchange the order of the factors. Now this ln x and this ln x are the same. So let's use some color code. So this form is exactly the form x times e raised to x. And so applying now the Lambert W function to both sides of this equation, we now have the Lambert W of the left side equals the Lambert W of the right side. And the left side is this form, which is equal to this exponent ln x, and we copy the right side. Since we are solving for x, we'll perform the inverse operation of taking the natural logarithm, which is raising to the base e. So we take the exponentials of both sides, and we now have this form. Now e raised to ln x is just x, and we copy the right side. Now this right side is just a constant that we can compute using Wolfram alpha. And taking now e raised to the Lambert W of ln of 2, that gives us a value of approximately 1.5596. And this is now the value of x. So to check, 1.5596 raised to 1.5596 gives us 1.999, which is rounded off to 2. So it's verified that the value of x in this equation is approximately equal to 1.5596. So for those who are asking what is this Lambert W function, you can refer to our previous video where we discuss its domain, its range, its graph, and the intuition why we need this Lambert W function as well as its formal definition. So thank you very much.